Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about with statement in Python. So, this with it is a keyword in Python. So, the main purpose of using with keyword in Python is mainly it is used if you are working with unmanaged resources. So, generally the resources can be either managed resources or unmanaged resources. Suppose for example, if you consider an example a resource a memory. Okay. So, uh, in the memory, okay, uh, they can be either managed memory or unmanaged memory. So, managed memory means, so if there is a, uh, an object which is, uh, uh, which is stored in the memory location, okay, but that object is not being used in any program for a long time, okay, then what happens, uh, there will be a garbage collector which cleans up that memory and it will take that object into the garbage collector. Okay, that means uh, we can say that object is eligible for garbage collector. Okay, so that means this garbage collector, it is a form of uh, automatic memory management. That means it is a form of automatic uh, managed resource. But uh, if there is an object which is used in unmanaged memory, okay, then garbage collector will not involve in this type of uh, unmanaged resources. So, if there is any such type of unmanaged resource in your program, okay, then by using this with keyword, uh, we can work on those uh, unmanaged resources. Okay. So, uh, what, uh, what it will do means, it ensures, uh, so generally what we have to do, if there is any unmanaged resource, uh, then we have to make sure, if you consider a file stream. Okay, stream means nothing but sequence of bytes. So, we, we can call this file stream as an unmanaged memory. Uh, mainly this file stream is a class, but why we are calling it as an unmanaged memory means because it uses some windows resources. Okay, so for that reason we are calling it as an unmanaged, re unmanaged resource and we as an user we must dispose uh, that object after using it uh, because in Python each and everything is an object. Okay, so by using with the keyword, we can use, we can work on this unmanaged resources. Okay, so this with keyword, it is not only used to work on unmanaged resources and also it is used in exception handling cases also. Exceptions are nothing but runtime errors. Okay, so runtime error means, suppose if you consider divide by 0, if you divide anything with 0, the answer is infinite. Okay, so such type of divide by zero and if you consider the array index out of range, all this comes under runtime errors. So those are called as exceptions. Suppose if you want to handle this runtime errors, then also by using with keyword, it is easy to handle this exceptional handling cases. That means exceptions also, it is easy to handle by using with statement. And not only that, if you are using with in your key with keyword in your program, it makes the code more readable okay and also this with statement will make the code cleaner also next um, using with statement so generally if you perform file operations so in the previous video i have told how to open a file in different modes read write and uh, append mode and uh, what are the sequence in which file operations are performed first of all we have to open the file and we have to perform read or write operations on the file according to the requirement and afterwards we have to close the file. The closing of the file that is file dot close function it is mandatory. Otherwise, so whatever may be the changes, whatever may be the uh, whatever uh, may be the code or the text which is written on the file that contents will not be saved if you won't close the file. But uh, if you are using with the keyword and if you are opening the file, no need to use file dot close because automatically this with keyword will close the file. As an user, no need to mention uh, that file dot close operation, file dot close function, no need to perform that operation as an user. Okay. So, let me show the example so that you will get the better clarity. So, now let me show the execution. For that, go to Python ideal. So, open a new file. So, first of all, save this file on the desktop. Save as. 
So, here I am going to save this as using with keyword dot py ok. So, here using with I am going to write the code. So, generally what you will do you will uh, without using with how you will write the code by using files uh, file equal to ok. So, we will follow three steps what is that first of all we will open the file ok. So, without using with actually this one I am showing once. So, some text file ok text one dot txt some text file dot some mode some read or write mode whatever it may be ok. So, next file dot write like some hello world and next after that you will close the file file dot close. So, like this we will perform the operations usually without using with the keyword. So, this is the order we will perform the operations. So, first of all we will open the file we will write some contents into the file and we will close the file. Here you can perform read or write operations. Suppose if you if you open the file in a read mode read mode means already if the file is existed then only it is possible to open the file in read mode. If you want to create a new file then you have to open the file in either write or append mode ok. So, here I have opened the file the text file this is my text file text one as it is a text file here you have to use dot txt extension and you are opening this file in write mode and you are writing hello world content into that file and you are closing the file. Suppose if you want to close the file then this uh, operations which are performed ok those operations will not be saved into the file. So, it is mandatory to close the file ok. So, see here I am saving the file and I am running the file. So, here you can see a blinking cursor and on the desktop see here this is text one hello world is saved here. So, usually without using with the keyword like this we have to perform the operations. So, this is the order we have to perform the operations. So, now by using with the keyword how I am going to write this means see here first of all with that is the keyword ok and after that here I am directly writing the open function. So, text 1 suppose text 2 dot text it is my file name and I am opening the file in the write mode ok as file followed by colon ok file dot write off. So, here you can write something some text hello how are you ok. So, see here with is the keyword followed by open function. So, this open function takes two arguments the file name if it is a text file dot txt extension and the mode which mode you want to perform as file and file dot write ok. So, whatever may be the text you want to write you can write here. So, save here save this file. So, here uh, within that with the function with the statement you have to use here colon ok. So, as you are using colon what happens automatically in the next line indentation we have to use and it takes it as a block of statement ok. So, now let me run the code. So, here you can see a blinking cursor and if you go to the desktop see here. So, here my file name is text 2. So, here if you open the file hello how are you. So, no need to here no need to use f dot close because the with function will automatically close the file ok. So, that is about the with statement thank you.